G'day all you wonderful people, welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, trail name Lookout. I am back here at the highway overpass and I have just come off having a Nero and a Zero with Split, who is a trail angel in Tehachapi. He was an amazing host. I loved staying with him. He had a, such a relaxed place to stay. It was a really good little place to be able to take a break from the trail. And now I'm back. It is going to be 88 Fahrenheit today. There is a 17 mile water carry. I am not looking forward to this, but it is about 7.45 in the morning. So let's get off before the sun gets too hot. Your guess is as good as mine. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Two hours of hiking, seven miles, 2,800 feet of elevation change in 88 Fahrenheit. We've got to the top of the mountain. That's the hard climb for today, done with. It is almost 10 o'clock at the moment. I started off at 7.45 from the highway overpass. Woo! I did not feel like I was going fast enough to get up here in two hours. I thought I was plodding along. I had a huge breakfast this morning that I'm struggling to keep down, to be honest, because I overate. Now I'm gonna have a little rest, have a sip of water, and get on my way in probably about 15 to 20 minutes. But this looks like the best spot to do it, to be honest. Let's look behind you. Look at this. A little path into a shady area of trees. Got a little sitting rock down there. I think this is going to be my home for uh, for a little while while I recover and uh, then get on my way. I just got to this tree and that lizard was so good at being a photo subject. He just sat there, watched me. And I thought there was a part where we was going to bolt because I crept really, really close and got like a really close in headshot with his eye. And he just sat there and looked at me and I gently backed off and he sat there for a bit and now he's scurried away. So well, when animals behave and allow you to take pictures, it's beautiful. All right. Back on the road, ladies and gentlemen. It's funny how quickly 20 minutes flies by. You sit down, have a sip of water, check the time and go, wow, time to get back moving again. So now we have a 10 mile walk with no more water sources. So I should be all right. I think I'm carrying more than enough to get me there and after that, there's another huge water carry that will last until probably halfway through tomorrow. So, gotta stock up enough for 
cooking tonight. Got to have my cup of tea after dinner and uh, make sure that I've got enough for cooking food and breakfast and enough to drink because tomorrow is going to be another hot one. This is the first time I've seen a caution warning on one of these PCT signposts. I wonder what danger we're about to be exposed to. Let's go and have a look. Ah, oh, this is it. It's got reflectors on and everything. Done. Oh, we're crossing a road. The right, the left, the right again. Make a bolt for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're gonna be okay. We got through the caution, we got over the hurdle, we got over the busy, busy road there, all unscathed. Uh-oh, more reasons to be cautious. Another hurdle. What are we gonna do? What do we, how do we, oh, that's how we get over it. Oh, hey. I quickly looked up over my shoulder and saw that cloud in front of those three turbines and thought, oh no, they're on fire. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I figured out what those caution signs were for. I've joined a dirt road and apparently I'll be following it up and down hills for the next five miles, but, uh, this road is also shared by motocross uh, riders, so I've seen a couple of riders come whizzing past me and I had to jump into a bush, so yeah, this is the real caution. Here we are folks, we're back amongst the wind turbines again. No, I have not taken a wrong turn. It just goes to show how expansive this whole wind farm is. So well, ladies and gents, we are off the dirt track and onto the normal trail again. But it is all loose rock and pebbles. So I am going a lot slower than I would normally like to. So just trudging along. I'm about to hit that water source in a couple of miles that we talked about this morning and I will fill up everything I've got and then I will be miserable because it's another four miles to camp after that and I'll be carrying so much water my pack will be maximum heavy with a full resupply and also all of the water that I can carry and I'll also be walking in the heat horrid oh well when needs must So ladies and gentlemen, give you an update. I got to the water source and I got all of the water that I can possibly carry. And now my pack feels like I'm carrying a, another person on my back. I feel like I'm giving a piggyback to somebody, it's so heavy. There were a lot of people hanging around that water source, all chilling. It was a very shady area, nice place to chill out so I spent about an hour there with everyone and it seems like everyone's going to the same place to camp tonight it's gonna to be a busy camp spot is uh, what I can say for definite at the camp now and I'm gonna go in that little shady spot just here and put my tent there not that it matters it's already 430 so Sun won't be up and be hot for long, but I think it's nicer to be in that shaded bit underneath the trees. There we go, all set up. Now it's time to do the important thing. Owl's happy food, yeah. I deserve it after today. So folks, that was a pretty, pretty tough day. My energy level was up here. 
and it normally goes down like that throughout the day because of the heat it kind of just hit rock bottom almost straight away so today has been tough going through this heat but I did get to wear my fancy hat that I borrowed from Safari Steve so I have to thank him thank you Safari Steve for my nice hat if you haven't met Safari Steve, then make sure that you watch one of the videos with him in it, like him t explaining what kind of animals you're going to see on the Appalachian Trail. He's a great host. Well, enough of all of that. It's time for me to relax now. So, with that, that's all I've got for you. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.